And today we learn about energy density in electrostatic field. What is energy density in electrostatic field? That is a ratio of energy upon volume. Means amount of energy stored in a given system or region of space per unit volume. So, uh, for that we are a Gaussian body and three charges Q1, Q2, and Q3 at infinite distance from that body. Uh, to move a charge infinity to P1, there is no work done is required. If the space is initially charge free, there is no electrical field. So W1 is equal to zero. The work done in transferring Q2 from infinity to point P2 is equal to product of charge Q2 and potential V12. Potential V12 is a work done due to charge Q2 on Q1. Similarly, the work done in positioning Q3 at P3 is equal to Q3 in bracket V31 plus V32, where V32 and V31 are potential at P3 due to Q3 and Q1. So by this, we got three work done. Now, total work done is equal to summing of three work done. Uh, work, total work done is equal to Q2 V21 plus Q3 in bracket V31 plus V32. If the charges were positioning in a reverse order, means uh, first we take the charge Q3 to point P3 and lastly we take the charge Q1 to point P1. So the total work done become Q2 V23 plus Q1 in bracket V13 plus V12. Now adding these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, to so twice of work done equal to Q1 in bracket V13 plus V12 plus Q2 in bracket V21 plus V23 plus Q3 in bracket V31 plus V12. So now Q13 V13 plus V12 is equal to V1. V21 plus V23 is equal to V2. And V31 plus V12 is equal to V3. By putting these values, we got twice of work done is equal to Q1 V1 plus Q2 V2 plus Q3 V3. So for n number of charges, twice of work done is equal to summation from k is equal to 1 to n q k v k. Taking one up one up to other side, the work done is equal to half summation from k is equal to 1 to n q k v k. After bringing n number of charges, the space having charge that is volume charge density rho v. So this requires energy in the form of density. So instead of the discrete charges, we now have a distribution of charge over a volume V. So Q is equal to volume integration of rho V dV. So putting this value in work done equation, work done is equal to half volume integration V rho V dV, where rho V is the volume charge density and V represents the potential. Since by the Gauss law, diver divergence of d bar is equal to rho V. So by putting the value of rho V, work done become one of volume integration of del dot d bar V d V. So we use this vector identity that is V in bracket del dot d bar is equal to del dot V d bar minus d bar dot del V. So by putting this vector identity in work done equation, we get work done is equal to half volume integration del dot V d bar minus d bar dot del V dV. So by separate this equation, so according to divergence theorem, del dot V d bar is equal to closed surface integration V d bar ds. So we put closed surface integration V d bar ds for this equation. In the expression one up closed integration surface integration V d bar ds for point charge since V varies as 1 by r and d varies as 1 by r square. The term V dot d bar varies as 1 by r cube while the area varies as r square. So as surface become large, that is, r tends to infinity, 
the integral term tends to zero. So thus the equation of work done reduced to two. Work done is equal to minus one half. Close the volume integration. D bar dot del v dv. Now we know that d bar is equal to epsilon e, and e and electric intensity is equal to minus del v. So work done is equal to by putting this value, so work done become one up volume integration d bar dot e bar dv. So by putting again the volume value of electric intensity we got one up volume integration epsilon e square dv we know that uh, work done is equal to volume integration w e dv so that w is equal to dw by dv is equal to half d bar dot e bar so w e is equal to half epsilon e square by putting the value of e and d so this is the equation of energy density in electrostatic field and its unit is joule per meter cube